Guys, they're pushing sneakers up and they're pushing sneakers back. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the changes to the Air Jordan release calendar. Now, some of these release dates, they moved up and some of them, they moved back. Now, starting out, I wanna talk about the Air Jordan 1 Shadow OG that's supposed to drop on May 10th. They've actually moved that up to May 4th, which was the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue release date, and that got pushed back, and we're gonna talk about that here in a second. And then we have this Air Jordan 13, which is now has a release date of June 25th. Now, I'm not really sure if anybody's really interested in this Air Jordan 13. It looks a lot like the Ben 13s from back in the day. This one right here, I don't think a lot of people really have it as like a must cop or anything like that, but the release date for that is now June 25th. And then we have two Air Jordan 1 highs that were supposed to drop in May, but have been pushed up into April. And the Green Glow now has a release date of April 20th. And then we have the Air Jordan 1 Team Red that now has a release date of April 27th. So if you want to pick either of those up, you can pick them up in April. And then we have two Air Jordan 4s that I want to talk about. The Oxidized Green Air Jordan 4 Retro will now be dropping on June 15th. And then unfortunately, the Industrial Blue Air Jordan 4 is gonna be pushed back from May 4th to May 25th. Now, I'm not exactly sure why they're pushing it back. Originally, it was supposed to drop towards the end of May and then they pushed it into April and then they pushed it back to the beginning part of May. And now they're pushing it back all the way to the 25th of May. So not exactly sure what's going on there, but unfortunately, we're all gonna have to wait a little bit longer for the official release date of the sneaker. I know it's the one that we all want. We all been waiting for it, but we just have to be patient a little bit longer. Now, I know some of you guys are probably wondering about the shock drop and I don't have any new information on that or anything like that. I will continue to monitor it. Definitely let you guys know, you know, the second I hear something about that. But unfortunately with the sneaker being pushed back, I kind of feel like we probably won't see a shock drop until maybe like the beginning part of May or something along those lines. But anything could happen with Jordan brand, right? They just shock drop three sneakers, you know, a little while ago that were two months early. So who knows what's going on with that. But now on May 4th, we're gonna be getting the Air Jordan 1 Low Shadow OGs, which I'm kind of excited about. I really want that sneaker. In fact, I have um, an early pair of that on the way that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys. So just stay tuned for that. But, you know, unfortunately, you know, this is that time of year where we get like pushbacks and, you know, it's rare to see them actually push sneakers up, but you know, in some cases like the OG One Shadows, you know, they're pushing sneakers up too. So. Um, just a little bit of changes to the release calendar that I think that you guys should be aware of and you know when it comes to the military blues man It kind of sucks man. Honestly, you know I was really looking forward to it being like one month away, you know and sort of gearing up for that release because that's the next like most hype thing, but um, That's the news for the day man. We got push-ups and pushbacks So thank you guys for your time your attention and all the support you guys show me and I'll see you all in the next video real soon I'm out. Peace for more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.